bugs are coming out today. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay. So it's raining outside for a lot of us, and you know that does bring the snails and the slugs out. Here's a live look at a lapse of the morning. You can see occasionally downpours moving on through. The skies turn really dark and then lighten up a little bit. Right now, the cold front has moved through the coast, so we're starting to see some sun breaks out at the beach. That's really nice, but you can see clouds off in the distance building. Those are showers just offshore, so unsettled weather remains, but the steady rain has wrapped up out along the coast. Cold front moving through as we speak. It's in the Cascades right now and behind it all of those individual shower clouds out in the Pacific. That just goes to show things are cooler out there and they're also unsettled. So I can't rule out a pop-up thunderstorm or downpour as we head through the afternoon today, tomorrow and Saturday as well. Here's a live look at radar. Some of the yellows there indicate heavier rain just to the south of Portland then north up into Columbia and uh, county and portions of southwest Washington, Cowlitz County as well, getting hammered with some downpours. Around Portland, uh, the closest downpour is around Malala and Woodburn. Light around rain down toward Brooks and Salem. Few showers have reached the east side of the mountains. Scattered showers around Hepner, Condon, up toward Arlington as well. So here's the plan for the rest of the day. Five o'clock, you'll notice some sun breaks starting to peak out here in the Willamette Valley in southwest Washington. East of the mountains, we do have some scattered downpours maybe even some thunder this afternoon. Now tomorrow morning starts with just a few spotty showers around. Snow level by then just above the passes. So if you're headed over the passes, wet roads, but you may see some snowflakes mixing in. Downpours tomorrow afternoon. Again, isolated thunder, some small hail, not out of the question. Also gusty wind associated with the strongest cells. And this is Saturday, 8 o'clock in the morning, scattered showers around, and we're in and out of the rain for much of the day Saturday. The good news is Mother's Day Sunday does look drier. Here's the start of the day. 9 o'clock, most of us dry with a few showers passing by in the afternoon. First time in a while, I can say we are below average for the month. We've had a little over three tenths of an inch of rain so far this May. That's 46 hundredths below average. But take a look at the water year so far. It began October 1st, and since then we've seen 46.33 inches of rain. That's almost 17 inches above average, and more rain than we typically see in an entire year. 55 in Portland, 61 in Redmond right now, 65 in Burns. Now, what's interesting? Let me show you the difference from 24 hours ago. Yesterday at noon, it was 13 degrees warmer in Salem. We're 8 degrees cooler than yesterday at PDX and 14 degrees cooler in Bend. So I know you've likely noticed uh, the dramatic change in the weather. Back to rain for the next six days. Decent rain chances each day, but then it looks like we're drying out midweek as we head into Wednesday. Drier weather takes hold and temperatures warm up a bit. But in the meantime, temperatures well below our average of 67 in the upper 50s, low 60s with wet weather at times. So it's back to uh, timing our walks and runs mm. around those sun breaks.